hello welcome back to my youtube channel our topic today is about three phase induction motor for y delta connection start y and run with delta i will show you my drawing here okay i explain to you here step by step before we are going to installation this motor load circuit connection for y delta starter we have a contactor M1, we have contactor M2, this is for delta, and this is for contactor number 3 is Y. And this is our motor, we have 6 lead, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 lead, and uh, it's winding here. 3 winding, but both N1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so N1. So this our connection is Y, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6 together, this Y, and this our delta, line 1, line 2, line 3, and this is uh, 1 and 6 together, 2, 4 together, 3, 5 together, I will explain to you over here after, this is our Y. Okay, before this one's work, I will uh, explain to you here our basic control circuit. For Y delta starter. This our line one, stop button, start button, normally open, and this our normally open auxiliary contact for M1, and uh, this our timer, this timer relay, this our Y contactor, and this is, uh, you know, this symbol, timer normally close. Timer normally often on delay. So this symbol is delta. This is Y. This is both is interlock to prevent the short circuit. That's why interlock. When Y is running, the delta doesn't run because the interlock here is open for Y. So when this one is stopped, the interlock back to normally close. And this one, delta, start to run. When delta is running, the Y doesn't run because it's open. That's for the interlock to protection the short circuit here because this is a delta. When this one energizes the power circuit here and this one energizes together, it will be short. It will short. That's why they use this interlock. Why start in Y before delta run? Because the Y speed is gradually in not too much faster speed, not like delta. The delta, when it's turned, is turned too fast speed. This speed, when too much speed, might damage the belt, coupling, keyway, shaft. That's why they use this timer on delay when and start with Y because when it's, you push the button start when you put the button start this M1 energize and interlock here timer run while running while running on 5 seconds this Y is accelerating gradually slowly to prevent the damage the shop and coupling gear and electrical component this is the design, engineering design for this control circuit and for this connection for Y delta. So while explaining, because this, this machine, this motor commonly used in the big motor, in the grinder, crusher, crusher, milling, uh, fire hard runs for big motor, blower, this they use this mostly connection for three phase induction motor okay i explain to you here first step by step when this one start this one m1 energize and both together energize so that means y is run because this one normally close so when this y is running the delta doesn't run because this one open okay so when this one run so m1 is energized and 
why conductor is energized too. So while timer is here, when it's counting, the motor is accelerating until reach 60, 70 speed and change contact to delta. Okay. When press button here, we start in Y. This one contact here. We will check the connection. 1, 2, 3, T1, T2, T3. And Y is 4, 5, 6. This become connection Y because when this one energized because here is connect together is jumper jumper that's why when this one is just is y connection after the y connection is here one line one line two line three like t1 t2 t3 and then 456 456 this is our y connection and then uh, after five seconds this one de-energized the y contactor this one is energized now when this one energized contact here the line one we will double check the t1 is here line one the line one connect together to t1 and t6 okay we will follow here this one here circuit here this circuit here delta is run the circuit is going here and going here the wire number here is six so that means T1 and T6 together, this is our line 1 is correct. And line 2, this line 2 is T2. And line 2 here going to, we will follow the circuit connection here. Contact close here, this circuit going here and then 4. So line 2 is 2 and 4. This is also correct. And the last line 3. Line 3 here is line 3, T3, and the wire is going here, delta close contact, and the circuit going here, and going here, and connect to T5. That means 3 and 5. See, line 3 is 3, 5. So this uh, Y delta star connection is right. This is uh, engineering, engineer design. To reduce the inrush current when motor is start because the load is too heavy. So start in Y because soft start and light delta. The delta is too much spinning faster. Possible damage the brake. And when it spin faster, pulley slip on the belt might burn, broke. Also in the pulley. So that's why to prevent the damage all of the shop here and the rubber everything KW we use this we need this timer to control the speed so it start and then slowly is spinning to 60 70 80 percent and then after reach the 80 percent reach the five seconds on on delay the at least after five seconds the motor Race already to 60, 70, 80 percent speed accelerate already and transfer to delta. So, might damage to prevent all the parts of the electrical component. That's all. Okay. This, our basic control connection circuit, Y delta starter. We will install this one here. We're going to wire this to our control circuit here. I make this one here. Before we will install this one here, we need to put the wire number. This is our line one here, stop button. We need to put number one, the wire number. And then uh, after the stop button is we're gonna put number two here. Number two, wire, wire number two, right? And this output, if start button, we're gonna put wire number three directly to the M1 number 3 and M1 holding contact number 3 so all of this is number 3 this our jumper jumper this our number 3 right so and then uh, this side here is we gonna put this is neutral so we gonna put white wire neutral neutral all this we're gonna put neutral neutral this circuit is neutral 
with that easy this is our timer normally closed the number is eight five so uh, we're gonna put is number three so we're gonna put next is number four and this one here we're gonna put five and this one here six and here is seven so now we got we put the number already easy to install now we cannot get mistake hindi tayo magkakamali na ikabit yan kasi may wire number na wire gloves to protection because you know parang hindi tayo masugat alright uh, before we have turn off the power first because we have a voltage supply there no we have a motor three phase but we don't have a supply three phase here that's why I cannot use the motor but what I do, I just put one thing bolts here to the load side of contactor so we will identify, we, we can see that this, our magnetic contactor M1 maintaining contact is run, Y is run, and delta run. That's why I just make this one here. Okay. We start to connect this uh, line one here. We're gonna put wire number. I connect line one here, the breaker. And line one going to stop button, stop button here. We connect one terminal here, number one. And then the other side of a stop button is number two, jump to normally open, interlock. And number two to the stop button. So our stop button here, I connect number two here number two to over here and one is jumper here so i connect together two wire i connect here two wire connect one here connect number two together tight so this number two Connect already here, this is one here done. So this one here going to M1. This is our M1, normally open. We connect on the top one here. Tight, okay. Normally open the bottom load side is number three. Connect to, came from start bottom, right? Go connect here. And jumper, jumper to, jumper to A1 magnetic contactor. Jumper to terminal 7 for timer and normally close and 5 normally close, normally open timer. We're gonna jumper jumper this one here. So, first, this our start button. I put number 3 here, going to here from there, and then we go into jumper jumper. This is the way we connect already here. Load size here, so we need one wire connect to A1. I will put jumper number three going to A1. Mm -hmm. To A1 going to A1 and timer. So A1, I put two wire going to A1. I put jumper going to the timer. Okay, A1 and another wire. From A1 going to timer, number 3 wire. Our timer, we're gonna put in number 7. This is our terminal number 7. The output number 7 is neutral. I got supply already neutral. Jumper, jumper, jumper. I got ready to A2. A2. So A2 going to delta A3 here. And why so our neutral i connect already right so now the output of uh number part number eight this is our number eight here i put jumper so normally close five our normally close five here i connect already i put number four wire i connect to here here normally close normally close delta the output of delta is number 5 wire. This number 5 wire here. I connect already number 5. Going to A1. So done. 
neutrons connected to so finish so the output of six here three i connect already so now is a six here six going to auxiliary contact normally close normally close to y finish i'm going to output going to a1 this output y going to number seven going to a1 delta here okay connection is done we will put the wire here okay this y contactor this is um, uh, delta this is our timer i put i set up already to five seconds you can see here i put five seconds and we're gonna try it Plug in. all right lock here i have three piece motor but i don't have a three piece supply so but this one i use here is light and this is our control circuit i don't connect the wire control circuit because i just follow that one only that's easy now breaker when i turn on the start button this one energize power on when i turn on the start button supposed to be energize this one the m1 and your timer energy so energy is one two three after five seconds this one y stop this one start you can see the light here right okay try now it's counting this one here y is energized after five seconds now it's counting then delta run that's the way this is this one purpose is this so when uh, when start button the motor too heavy the current in rush to, to have speed high current and then accelerate and then transfer this is the purpose for this why the engineering design they are smart okay and one more time here see energize energize this is our y start start with y accelerating one two three four five boom then start here right see it's simple now it's counting one two three four five six seven it's spinning then transfer to delta this is the control cell this is the control circuit for here and this is the load circuit for the motor that's all that's all we are done my friend if you don't have understand comment below i explain to you again have a great day my friend Thank you. Right.